And as usual, I'm here to talk that talk. Now, as we all know, Halloween just passed, and as usual, there were a lot of interesting costumes. So, let's talk about my favorites. Starting with Ellen as Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj was seen wearing this outfit when she visited the Ellen Show. Now, if you're a talk show junkie like myself, then you did see the episode, and you noticed that Ellen made a lot of booby comments. <laughs> she suggested that maybe Nicki Minaj should have worn a bra, you know, stuff like that, but apparently she loved the outfit and she killed it for Halloween. Now, speaking of Nicki Minaj, here she is giving us some major booby action in her 50 Shades of Grey inspired outfit. Now, I say outfits very loosely because I don't know if that was a costume or what, but I guess she gets two thumbs up for being as bold because I could not just walk out with tape on my boobies. Just couldn't happen. One of my favorites was Miley Cyrus. Here she is as Little Kim in 1999 at the Video Music Awards. Now, um, you know, of course, she's been getting all this backlash, but I mean, me personally, and I'll say it over and over again, I love it. I love the new Miley. She's becoming a lady. She's becoming her own. Like she said before, Hannah Montana is dead. Let's let it go. Okay? Moving on. Ah, my favorite on the list would have to be fashion designer and stylist Brian Javar <laughs> and friends. They were dressed up as characters Shanene, Key Lolo, and Shaquita from one of our most popular and still watched shows of all time, Martin. <laughs> um, I personally know Brian. I've known him since high school, and people that know him know that Shanene is his favorite character. I um, was a little surprised, but I'm not surprised. He killed it, so. Shout out to Brian. Okay, now let's talk about who slayed it better. First, we have Grand Hustle's artist Iggy Azalea versus Basketball Wife star Laura Govan. Dressed up as the 1990s Disney movie character from the Dalmatians, Cruella DeVille. Um, they both showed up with a Dalmatian dog, however, Iggy had to win because not only did she show up as the classic. Cruella, but she also had the car to match. I mean, come on, Laura didn't show up with a car. She just showed up with a dog and her wig was whack. I must say myself, I'm sorry, I cannot lie. I have to be honest, I didn't really like it. I think Iggy killed the Cruella look, okay? Last but not least, we have Rihanna versus Chris Brown's girlfriend, Karachi Tran as Cholas. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. Karachi did the look first, and then a couple of days later, Rihanna redid the look. However, she recreated the look. Not only did she have the teardrop going on, she had the baby hair, and she did the lip liner. You know, I think Rihanna took the cake here. It's unfortunate that I think she did it on purpose to make Karachi look bad, yes, I think so. And I'm sure everybody else is thinking the same thing. Why would she go and be the same exact thing that she is a couple of days later, right? Interesting. And we all know Rihanna is the queen of controversy, so it's only right. However, she took the cake again. Sorry, Karachi. Now, for a little reality recap. As you know, or may not know, The Real Housewives of Atlanta is back, and this season is looking pretty promising, if I must say so myself. The best dirt so far is the nasty divorce between Portia and Cordell Stewart. Now, she made some comments saying that Cordell didn't want her physically, and that made her wonder what did Cordell want. Okay, so let's talk about some back history on these gay rumors and Cordell, okay? So it's been reported that he used to hang around Skinley Park, which is in Pittsburgh, and supposedly this park is frequented by gay and transsexual men. Hmm. And it was even said that a officer had once witnessed Stewart engaging in sexual <laughs> acts in a limousine 
with a man. But because he was the city's quarterback, the incident was swept under the rug. Of course. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Is it true or is it not true? And if it's not true, no, forget that. If it's true, because I think it's true, you don't just come up with rumors from anywhere and out of the sky and they don't just go on for years and years and years. However, why is she just now saying something? So, is she lying or is she being honest? Hmm, makes you wonder, right? Guess we'll have to watch the rest of the season to figure that out. Here's the scoop. Now, it's been what? Three weeks, almost a month since the TLC biopic, which aired on VH1. And let's just say some people's feathers are a little ruffled by this. Not only is Left Eye's sister Raindrop and Pebbles dropping comments about the way their characters were portrayed, but now we have Pebbles and L.A. Reed's daughter, Ashley, speaking on the situation. On a radio show, Read All About It, not only was she furious about the $20 wig that they had on her mother's character, she also said that Chili had an affair with her father and that artists like Usher and Outkast, amongst others, didn't have money issues and that TLC should take responsibility for poor spending habits. However, someone in the studio quickly reminded her that Tony Braxton did go broke and in response, she says that Tony Cry broke because she was sleeping with her uncle Brian. Hmm. Now, in an interview with the Jasmine brand, Chili refused to talk bad about anyone, including Pebbles and Raindrop, and stated that Ashley was a child during those years, so it was impossible for her to know what was going on at that time. Pebbles has also made a comment saying that she will be telling her side of the story at a proper venue, assuming she means it won't be on VH1. Maybe this will be one for the big screen. Who knows? All I know is this is getting real ugly and real fast. Speaking of ugly and fast, let's talk about gospel singer Kevin Terry. Mm, so sad. He's in trouble with his fan base and the Christian community. This week, a video was leaked <laughs> of the Christian singer performing oral sex on another man. Yes, more gay stories. Now, a lot of people were very skeptical and didn't believe it was him until singer and friend of Kevin Terry, Little Mo, made a comment on Twitter saying that it's sad when you make someone mad, they leak sex tapes and nudes, which confirmed that it was in fact Kevin Terry, unless I'm reading this tweet wrong. I don't think so. Yeah. So. He's going on to say that there's nothing wrong with making a mistake. What's wrong is not taking the effort to make it right. <laughs> I'm confused here, but I won't say anything else. We're just gonna let that go and let that situation blow over. We'll see what happens. I'm, I'll keep Kevin Terry in my prayers, amen. Now, before I go, let's talk fact or fiction. There's been a lot of rumors floating around about singer Sierra being pregnant. She was seen performing at the Beats on the Beach Festival in Abu Dhabi, and if you ask me, she's got to be at least two or three months pregnant. Now, of course, it hasn't been denied or confirmed, but let's be honest here. We're used to seeing Sierra with stomach revealing clothes, and we have not seen that stomach since the body party video. But hey, only time will tell. Maybe we'll have another Beyonce exclusive. You know how that goes. Just show up on stage, rub your stomach, let the world know you're pregnant. Who knows? I think she is. Everybody else is saying she is, but she or Future has yet to confirm it. So we'll see. Okay? That's all for me today. Be sure to join me next time on Talk That Talk. Bye.